Hello. If you've, watched, if you've clicked on this video, you're interested in agnosticism. Well, let me just tell you what agnosticism is. It's not pretending to know something you don't. All these re religious people and atheists, they pretend to know if there's a God or not. Agnostics just say, I don't know. I cannot know. They're honest. We, ag we agnostics are just being honest because we doubt. We're, we're skeptics. We don't know. We're, we're, you know, if you're skeptical enough, that's when you just claim to, you don't claim to know things that you don't know. So that's basically what agnosticism is. And um, I encourage everyone just to learn how to doubt and uh, not be so certain of everything. Stay in that middle ground of not knowing. Just be open to everything that's possible. And uh, prepare for the worst. Okay, that's the agnostic code. It's just saying, look, I don't know if there's a God or not. So why not just prepare for the possibility that maybe there is a God? And to do that, you just sort of guess what maybe a theoretical God might judge us on if there was some sort of judgment. So anyone could do that. You don't need to believe in anything to do that. Agnostics can do that. So um, I'm living proof of that. You don't need to believe in God and even in order to prepare for the possible existence of a God. This is better safe than sorry. Now, I take my agnosticism seriously. Doubt is like my religion. I am the wor I, I prepare for the worst case scenario because I want to live forever. Okay. And that means that uh, I don't know that there's a God to save me either. That's part of agnosticism. That's part of the agnostic code. That's why I try to live forever physically with life extension. I might need to live forever in this body because I don't know if there's an afterlife or not because that's part of agnosticism is not pretending to know things like if there's an afterlife or if there's a God or, you know, like all these religious people and Christians, they even have the audacity to start speaking for God, like they know God's desires and, and God's will and, and that God saved them and all this stuff. They don't know if they're saved. How do you know if you're saved? If you're a Christian, how do you know if you're saved? You don't even know that. I mean, we can't even know if there's a God. So how dare you claim to know that you're saved and you're going to heaven? All that stuff's just theoretical. So, so learn to doubt. Learn to follow the agnostic code. Just prepare for the worst. Stop stop making all these assumptions like I'm saved and all this bull crap. You don't know. So that's the basics. Agnosticism is just humility. It's just not pretending to know things that you don't really know. Just living in that middle ground of just doubt and inquiry and questioning. So that's it for this video. Follow the agnostic code. Be smart.